Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the frozen, soon-to-be frozen plains of sunny western New York State, in Science Valley, south of Rochester, north of Hell. And today I have a very complex area, and funny, it doesn't look like much when you're way above it, but once you start getting close, you... It's easy to see there's some seriously messed up things in here that need attention. This may go to two parts. It probably will. Short on time and very short on patience. So let's get started. I'm not going to go much more than 10 minutes on this. Now, uh, here we have more of these enigmatic objects are not natural I, I don't know what's going on here they don't look like standard buildings I'll do the drawing thing they don't look like standard buildings I'm not sure what to make of that other than probably not natural this place is packed full of them. And again, right here, here, and there. You gonna tell me that's a natural formation? I got news for you, I'm not buying that. They're rectangular buildings of some kind. Okay, and I have some uh, still photos to show at some point. That might morph into part two. Well, all through this area we have these, the same effect again with these buildings that are just weird. And they don't look like natural formations at all, especially since some of them are hollow. And they overhang uh, the ground, they cast shadows. I've never seen a natural formation do that. So let's take a look around, around, and around. I'm just amazed that all this stuff can just be ignored like it's not even there. See, that's how these people cover things up. They ignore it, and then... You know, you look at my ratings, I can't get, I can't get the ratings necessary to show people what's in these things. You don't always tell who they want to silence because you don't get the ratings. This is why I say take my videos, copy them, and show them to other people. Now, how many of these f features are natural and how many are artificial? I can't really tell. But I do know, you see something like this, it's casting a shadow. You know, what's holding that up? You see what I mean? All these, are, all these ones right in here. In my book, those are buildings. And I'm not taking that back. They may not be exactly like we have them on Earth, but they are definitely buildings. Well, I suspect a lot of these are uh, broken down with age and no longer active. Well, look how they cast shadows. Is there any wonder that we have so many people on YouTube putting this stuff up and...
all that. This is just incredible that all this stuff can be ignored. I'm wondering if some of these might be some kind of craft, too. Looking at this area, we got, dare I say it, dare I show this, kind of a boomerang type thing. Right there. I mean, does it get any better? And what kind of uh, craft have we seen in many places over the earth? We've seen these boomerang shaped and triangular shaped craft. I've seen triangular shaped craft before. These things are real. Where do they come from? Do they come from Mars? Maybe. How oh, I know. They're not trailing a banner saying, hm, Low Earthlings aren't from Mars. They don't do that. So how do I know where they come from? Is this incredible or what? And if you're looking at this and saying, Ah, oh, it's just rocks. Uh, I think that's pretty sad that people do that. Because I've never seen rock formations that look like these. And again. I wonder, to be honest with you, if this area could be some sort of alien base. Base for spacecraft. Now, I can't positively identify these things as spacecraft because I'm not down there on the ground to examine them. So I'm only speculating. It looks mighty suspicious to me. Uh, in part two, I'm going to have some of those lines to show you. You've probably already seen them. In this video, if you're watching my video, you've probably already seen them. I will get to them. I promise. There's just a lot of stuff in this one. And mostly what I'm doing right now is going over possible buildings. Like here and here. And also again, they look like they have roofs and they cast shadow. That's what I mean by building. Uh, rocks don't normally do that type of thing. They can, in some circumstances. But I don't see any evidence we're looking at rocks in most of these cases. I mean, the purpose of science is supposed to be exploring the unknown, not... Uh, explaining the unknown. That's supposed to be the purpose of science. But our science has gotten so twisted in this country that, you know, we're told there's no life on Mars. And then every so often we'll come out with a teaser. Oh yeah, maybe there's life on Mars. And then they debunk it. That's just to keep you interested. I mean, does it get any better? And again. Let's see if I can get, uh, go down a little bit and give you a better idea. In my book, that's building. More than likely. Seriously doubt that we're seeing just natural formations, especially with all the triangles and rectangles. Just amazing stuff that's ignored by NASA. Right in the center here, we have an aircraft carrier-shaped 
object. Remember, these things are huge, whatever they are. They're not small. I'll go ahead and post... I'm going to go ahead and post the coordinates, and we'll do this thing. There's going to be second part, maybe part, maybe three parts on this one. Seriously impressed by this area. It's got a lot of stuff in it. You just got to look for it. And I have those uh, unique lines that I've shown before. So this could be epic. Those lines are not natural. I will get to them maybe in part two or three, depending on how this goes. Oh, I don't know why we can't get some truth out of our government. I want to fax to Mars. Thanks for watching.